Gordon Ramsay and the Multiverse of Madness is the perfect time travel movie. This video will help explain all the timelines and which circle of hell everyone is currently in. The plot follows Jamie Oliver's evil twin, and his plan to capture all the celebrity chefs and give them a taste of their own medicine. The main characters are Gordon Ramsay Prime and Martha Stewart Prime, and their many time travel clones. Jamie couldn't last the first round of Hot Ones so he went insane and built a time machine which he also uses to rapidly jump between the multiverse. In the kitchen, he is joined by his imaginary friend Virgil, who makes the meals represent Dante's divine comedy. In Limbo, Gordon Prime convinces Martha Stewart Prime to join him in defeating Jamie Prime once and for all. In the spaceship, they meet with all the other alternate friends. In Lust, the gang has officially arrived in hell, and need to enjoy a tantalizing feast while outsmarting Jamie Oliver. Moving down to Gluttony, Martha Prime spots the Archangel Gabriel, who will hopefully save the day. Turn back, or you will be crossing the will of God. In Greed, all the time travel clones try to escape the time loop on the island, but don't get very far, and are eventually hunted down by James Temporal Agency. Once we arrive in Wrath, it's time for Martha Prime to try escape, and she makes it into a high-tech surveillance room, and reaches through the multiverse to contact the only person who could help her, beloved children's entertainer Oswald Osborne. Someone has been in my room and taken my beers away from my room. I don't think so, darling. Uh... The layer of heresy is a fun one indeed. A lot of the plot is finally revealed such as the reason James went insane was because he contracted a nasty case of alien hand syndrome, and was fighting with asbestos, the evil Martian living in his hand. Asbestos hands. He gives some context on how asbestos came to be. Asbestos was a monster. As well as the horrible things asbestos did to get James on Santa's naughty list. And a whore. In violence, Virgil fulfills his prophecy, and escapes samsara, leaving James to finish the downward spiral on his own. Archangel Gabriel was unfortunately captured. I will cut you down, make you apart, slay the core of your profane form across the stars. I will grind you down. And is unable to rescue all the clones. Luckily, Martha Prime's broadcast was heard, and they are visited by beloved children's entertainer Oswald Osborne. Someone has been in my room and taken my beers away from my room. I don't think so, darling. Uh... You! You're the beer thief! But James promised him a tasty bat head, and he swapped teams. When we get to fraud, even more plot details are revealed. Jamie's alien hand wasn't getting any better, so legendary surgeon Batman got called in to help diagnose and work out a treatment plan. You wanted me. Here I am. You shouldn't be here tonight. I take my work very seriously and you're not eating. And that wounds me. You're garbage, you kills for money. And a whore. But tonight everything I'm doing is pure. Then why do you want to kill me? Asbestos was a monster. Then why do you want to kill me? You belong here. With your own breed. You're garbage. We thought I couldn't tell all I know, a fellow service industry worker, when I see one. James and Asbestos were prepared for this, and attempted to offer Batman's head to Ozzy Osbourne, so Batman noped out of there. Eventually, all the celebrity chefs arrive in the ninth layer of hell, treachery. Now, the turntables and Martha Prime steals a spaceship and leaves the island, averting a paradox and letting all other timelines resolve. Everyone lives happily ever after and they have a sleepover. The movie received mixed reviews, such as the following from Top Secrets. Why didn't they just call it Hell's Kitchen? Mary Sue stated that this is the perfect Matrix sequel. John Doe said this is the hardest I've laughed since Jank Duersey's previous YouTube video. TV Movie Blog pointed out a fun fact, that Voldemort only cast a single spell in the whole movie, with a well-placed ninth level fireball. Like and subscribe for more movie reviews, or comment below if you want me to cover something specific.